durability testing is, a, is an important consideration with any scope. I'd like to take just a minute to talk about a couple of the things that Night Force does, both on the manufacturing and testing side, to make sure their scopes are super durable. One of them is the way they make the objective lens group. Now the objective lens group is it's a series of really expensive, large, heavy pieces of glass that sit inside a threaded aluminum housing. That housing gets threaded down inside the main tube and that's, that all sits right here. Uh, the problem with the objective lens group is if there's any impacts to the scope, those are the lenses most likely to move because they're big and they're heavy. So uh, you know, when manufacturers build objective lens groups, what they'll do is they'll take that aluminum housing and thread it because no one wants to put the glass in and, and run the risk of scratching it. So they'll thread it, they'll stick the glass in, and then they'll put the assembly together. Night Force does it just the opposite. They'll put the lens in the housing first, and then they'll thread the housing. Why? Well, when you put the lenses inside that housing, it changes size, not by much, but by a thousandth, a couple thousandths. So the only way to get around that is you have to have a little bit of, of slop in your threads to accommodate for the variations in sizes you're going to get. Night Force doesn't want to do it that way. So they, they put the glass, that really expensive glass, they put it inside that aluminum housing, tape it off, and then they've got a machine and it comes and it makes multiple passes. And what it does is it removes the tiniest bit of material on each pass. What that does is it creates threads that are very precise and match perfectly with what's inside the objective bell. The, uh, you'll see when the tech goes to, to screw that assembly down inside the objective bell, it's a laborious process. It's, you know, it just takes some effort, gets it down in there, then they'll come in with some bedding compound. It's epoxy, right? They'll put, squirt some epoxy in there. Once that stuff sets, it is not moving. And the way that Night Force checks that it's kind of over the top. They've got a, when the technician is, is doing final checks, they've got a steel block with a hard rubber pad on it. Now that hard piece of hard rubber is there to keep from scratching the finish on this expensive scope. But what he'll do is he'll come in and he'll crack this thing three times right on the objective lens and then throw it up on the collimator. The collimator, when you look through it, it's got a green tint. There's some permanent crosshairs in that collimator. If the crosshairs from the scope line up with the crosshairs from the collimator, then there's no problems. Then he'll pull it off and he'll start whacking it on each of the four sides. It gets three whacks on each side. And every time it goes back up on that collimator to make sure the crosshairs don't move. If there's any crosshair movement, the scope gets pulled and it gets put in the rework pile or it puts, gets put in the scrap heap. Um, one of the things you'll also notice is when he puts that scope up on the collimator, he's looking for the crosshair movement, but he's always moving. He also moves his head forward and aft. What he's doing there is checking for parallax. We don't, they're not just concerned with objective lens movement. Night Force is concerned with any lens movement. And so if, if any of these lenses move under impact, then, then the focal plane will move with it. So if you put it up there, there's no parallax. You smack it around a little bit, throw it back up there, and now there is parallax. That means something moved, and that scope's going to get pulled and looked at. It's not leaving the factory that way. So, um, you know, a couple of unique aspects of what Night Force does to their scopes to make them durable so that uh, you don't have to worry if that thing takes a, a bit of a beating in the field. Um, I'd like to thank Night Force for sponsoring this video. And uh, if you'd like to know more, go to www.nightforceoptics.com.